the animal kingdom is not a loving and wholesome place, it gets pretty brutal out there. You've all watched videos of unexpected animal friendships, but sadly those are the exception rather than the rule. These are land animals that hate each other. Number 15. Bald Eagles vs. Baboons You'd think that being a bird of prey, the bald eagle would pretty much be an apex predator, but surprisingly no. Although there aren't many animals capable of preying on bald eagles, there is definitely a handful that can, and one of them is a true surprise. Sure, most of us know that baboons are, uh, <laughs> difficult creatures, and as the world's largest monkeys, according to National Geographic, who seem to know what they're talking about, they're perfectly positioned to take on the bald eagle. Because because apparently baboons have a real problem with them. The baboon diet is actually pretty varied, ranging from grass to rodents and sheep to antelope babies, but there's something about the bald eagle that just irritates the baboon. Maybe it's because the eagle likes to swoop down on the baboon's family. Whatever the reason, the baboon will absolutely do its best to ensure that the bald eagle pays for all of the pain that it causes. When you really think about it, the baboon is Liam Neeson in the Taken movies, just with less phone call conversations and more angry smashing and grunting. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Did you know snakes and squirrels hate each other? It's true, we can certainly understand why squirrels hate snakes. A snake could swallow a squirrel whole after all, and with some ease. But the funny thing is, squirrels regularly attack snakes as well. Sounds a little bit like David versus Goliath, doesn't it? But these brave nut lovers regularly attack snakes. They do this because snakes love to eat squirrels, so those nutty little fellas have evolved to always be ready to preemptively attack a snake and hold their own. One way they do this is by heating up their tails by 3 degrees and wafting them around. The snake senses this heat, and for reasons that aren't clear, they slither away. Squirrels who don't want to fight will even carry bits of dead snakeskin around in their mouth, the smell of which masks their own scent, meaning the snakes can't detect them. Isn't nature remarkable? As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 14. Lion vs. Hyena Yes, my friends, I'm here to tell you that not everything in The Lion King was totally made up. Actually, the relationship between lions and hyenas is just as tense and strained as you would expect. Maybe less singing, but just as terrifying. To be fair to the lions, hyenas are the kind of animals that just cannot make friends. They have this innate need to attack, fight, and kill everything living they happen to cross paths with. They really thrive on it as their hysterical laugh will confirm. But for some reason, there's a particularly intense hatred for lions that the hyenas just can't seem to shake. Take a look at this lion, who soon finds himself trapped by a clan of over 20 hyenas. They've already decided what they're going to do, but what is he gonna do? The short answer is the same thing. If the hyenas are going to attack, the lion will fight back, and there are too many to fight at once, making it all but impossible to fight on his own. Luckily, the lion's friend spots the commotion and rushes in to bring an end to it in his own way, attacking the ever-loving G's out of him, and the cycle continues. Hakuna Matata. Number 13. Snakes vs. Cats some people will tell you that snakes don't like any animals and that they're hard to get along with or they kill everything. There's a lot of misguided thoughts there, but it is true that snakes and cats simply don't get along. In fact, these two animals are known to view one another as enemies. Cats are not afraid to attack snakes if they feel such an action is required, but there is a line they won't cross. A cat will never eat a snake. 
The reason? Cats, like most living things, have a high sensitivity to snake venom. If they happen to eat a snake that is highly poisonous, it's not going to end very well. The snake, meanwhile, just hates being attacked and slashed by the cat, so they generally do their best to avoid being in the same area at the same time. It's a little like what you do to avoid your ex. People always talk about the rivalry between dogs and cats, but it seems snakes and cats are the true rivalry, although when you really stop to think about it, not wanting to consume poison is less of a rivalry and more of a survival instinct, right? Number 12. Mute Swans vs. Geese Okay, so this is a very complicated one for me. This is one of those matchups where you hear both animals and think, is there a way they can both lose? Because let's be honest, both of these birds are absolute jerks, they're the worst, and they apparently agree. The rivalry in this case is a deep and intense one. Swans have been known to kill geese if and when they get the opportunity, so the geese are not necessarily big fans of the swan. However, you've seen the way that geese like to behave generally. They're not exactly fearless. If they want to take on a swan, they're going to take on a swan, whether it kills them or not. Because, and I've said this once already, they are jerks. This fight is truly just one big battle of the bullies. Ultimately, this is a hatred I think many living creatures are fine with. If they can deal with one another, it means fewer innocent people will be chased across a golf course by a needlessly angry swan. That, uh, happened to a friend of mine. Yeah, that's it, a friend. A friend of mine. His, uh, his, his name. Uh, his name is, uh, you know what? You don't need to know his name. Number 11, Parrots versus Cats. Cats and birds, in cartoons, they've never gotten along. In reality, they sometimes get along, but on the internet, they never get along. Look, the rivalry between parrots and cats has been long documented. In the right circumstances, these animals can be antagonistic or downright hostile to one another. And the reason is that the parrot is not a small bird. something the cat hates. Because if you replace the parrot with a tiny little baby canary, the cat has all the power. It has the size, it has the strength, but with the parrot, they have strong beaks and claws. If they decide they want to attack the cat, the cat is dang well gonna feel it. And vice versa, if the cat goes in for the parrot, the little guy probably isn't going to know about it until it's too late. It's all a pretty vicious cycle. I call it the circle of life. I just coined that right now and totally not inspired by the Lion King references from earlier. Parrots and cats may get along from time to time, but they'll never truly be friends. This is of course based on my scientific credentials and my degree from, uh, uh my degree from, uh, the Tampa Bay Performing Arts College. I majored in, uh, um, animal Shakespeare. Number 10, Tiger versus Impala. I can give a very broad and basic summary of the problem between these two animals in a nutshell. I hate you, I want to eat you, please just leave me alone. That's, you know, pretty much it. It's not the deepest of relationships. A therapist would probably quit after three minutes. Then again, a therapist shouldn't be dealing with wild animals anyway. Obviously, the tiger is one of the most notorious and respected predators in the world, so we know that he's going to attack just about any animal he can, but it's pretty easy to understand why the impala hates the tiger so much. The impala has absolutely no chance of winning in a fight against a tiger. It's over from the second the tiger leaps out of hiding. That's gonna get very annoying very quickly. You just have absolutely no way of defending yourself against this big guy who keeps jumping your friends. Again, the rivalry here is clear cut. The tiger wants to eat, wants to eat, the impala wants to be left alone, the internet wants justice for the innocent impala. Case open, investigated, and closed in the space of, what, two minutes? Less than that? I don't even know who I am anymore. Number 9. Zebra versus Lion. In the predator-prey relationship, there are some things we have to acknowledge. Predators don't choose to kill and eat animals in the wild, it's just in their nature. They need to do it to survive. And also, prey can actually kill their predators. Yeah, a zebra can kill a lion. Seriously. 
there have actually been many recorded instances of zebras killing lions, usually via a very swift and well-timed kick to the head. If the kick is well executed, it will successfully break the jaw of the lion, leaving the big cat unable to chew. After a while, the lion will starve and eventually succumb to the cold, clammy hands of death. That's not a great ego boost for the lion, which may explain why they hate one another so much. The lion will not accept defeat, but the zebra just wants to live, and so the circle continues, until someone else gets kicked in the face. Even more of an annoyance to the lion, the zebra has something of a wolf pack of its own. Fellow zebras will keep an eye on the landscape, always monitoring for danger. If one of their own is attacked, the herd will swoop into action to get their revenge and serve justice. The lion hates that, obviously. Number 8. Tiger vs. Bear the Jungle Book told us that tigers and bears were not a great match, but then it also told us that snakes can hypnotize and humans can be best friends with talking leopards, so maybe we shouldn't base everything we know on this movie. However, the tiger-bear antagonism is entirely real. In fact, tigers are known to attack and kill bears on very rare occasions. Some experts claim that 15% of the emir tiger's diet consists of bears. Until the tigers start using fitness apps to log their meals, we won't won't know if that's true or not. However, it's well known that bears are more than willing to give as good as they get. After all, these animals have a huge amount of weight behind them. They're probably one of the few predators capable of taking on a fully grown adult tiger and triumphing. These animals hate one another for that exact reason. Both know they can win the fight, which only makes them more determined to prove their worth as the true king of the wilderness. In fact, if they teamed up to put an end to the lion, the so-called King of the Jungle in a Godzilla vs. Kong situation, well, maybe we would have something there. I'm just kidding, guys. Let's not end the lion. They're just too good in Disney movies. Number 7. Elephant vs. Rhino We've talked about the complicated dynamic between the elephant and the rhino before on this channel. It's an incredibly difficult fight to call, mostly because these two titans are evenly matched, including in their fierce hatred for the other. Although, let's be honest, the rhino hates everybody. The rhino is the stereotypical macho man, throwing his weight around at even the faintest sign of anger. Absolutely no sense of requiring anger management. The elephant, meanwhile, is more measured. The hulking muscle man who can take on the rhino, it just chooses to go a different way until it absolutely has to. Generally, these animals prefer to avoid one another, but if they do happen to cross paths, you can bet it will usually end in some kind of a fight. More often than not, it's instigated by the rhino, because when you have a horn attached to your head, I imagine you feel like Superman or Super Rhino. It's not fully understood why the rhino and the elephant hate one another so much, but they're so well matched that you almost wonder what they could accomplish together. If there were an Avengers-style animal team, you can bet these two would be all but unstoppable. Or they'd kill one another. Either way, it's a movie I'd watch. Number 6. Kangaroo vs. Dog I can literally hear you guys saying it now. How the heck can a kangaroo hate a dog? They're adorable! I am but a simple voiceover artiste. I am not responsible for the thoughts of kangaroos, but I am working on it. Actually, there is a perfectly valid reason for the kangaroo's dislike of dogs. The dog chases it. You can imagine how annoying it gets to have a yappy, energetic thing chasing you all around all the time. More often than not, this forces kangaroos into the unfortunate position of being stuck in a body of water. So now they're irritated and wet, which in my experience just makes you more irritated. If the dog happens to get into the water, the kangaroo will try to drown it. Okay, I've never been that irritated. The dog, meanwhile, just doesn't care for the kangaroo whatsoever, so the situation will just continue to grow more antagonistic and tense until the dog is removed entirely from the situation. There is a clear reason for the hatred in this relationship, although it's still a very strange rivalry. I guess the lesson is man's best friend is kangaroo's worst enemy. Take note of that, Australia. Number 5. Elephant vs. Buffalo 
Much like some other animals, buffalo are not particularly known for their friendship-making skills, so to find out that buffaloes and elephants have such an angry and complicated relationship with one another, well, I'm shaken to my core. I just don't know how to feel about it. Did I sound convincing enough there? Obviously, if you're a human and an elephant or a buffalo charges at you, you're pretty much a dead man walking, but these two animals are more than capable of surviving a charge from the other, so they won't have to worry too much about that. So why do they hate one another, you may be asking? It's actually pretty simple. They find one another incredibly irritating, and they're living in one of the most brutal climates in the world. All things considered, it's a miracle they don't murder one another more often. Buffaloes tend to have something of a hair trigger, so it really doesn't take too much to set them off. Elephants, meanwhile, require a little bit more pushing. Not much, but a little bit. If the buffalo has already irritated it, well, that's how we get into this position. Circle of life, friends. Just one animal taking off another. Number four, dog versus rooster. I know, it seems like a weird pairing, but dogs and roosters encounter one another more often than you'd think, and their hatred for one another is very, very easy to understand. They just find the other very annoying. When it comes to love and general relationships, the rooster and the dog just want very different things. The rooster wants to keep up appearances and show his friends what's great about him. It's all about his looks and status. The dog, on the other hand, is all about having fun. As we all know, the dog can run around covered in mud and it doesn't really care, as long as it's having a good time. So both animals find the other incredibly annoying because they're living life in the exact opposite way, which as we all know is definitely pretty frustrating. That's just one reason these animals hate each other. They're also known to have vehement disagreements that can occasionally lead to serious harm between the two animals. And let's be clear, absolutely nobody wants that outcome. That is truly the worst possible result in all of this. Best result? Cow and dog become best friends and have a series of wild and wacky adventures. Number three, honey badger versus lion. And here we have a new member in the I Can't Make Friends Club. The honey badger is actually one of the most notorious animals on Earth for its fearlessness, its aggression, and its generally terrifying approach to life. So when the honey badger comes up against the lion, it's going to be a pretty rough time for both animals. The lion will quickly grow frustrated by the badger's aggression and relentlessness, and the badger will get irritated by the lion's refusal to die. Couple that with the fact that the honey badger probably kills a lot of the animals that the lion would happily have taken down and, you know, eaten, and you have a lot of built-up resentment between these two animals. One thing is for damn sure, though, that fight would be incredibly exciting to watch. These two animals may be very different, but they share a survival instinct. They will take on whoever they have to in order to ensure they come out on top. Who will win? I think that's obvious. But with the honey badger, who the heck knows? Number two, baboon versus cheetah. We've already discussed how the baboon is a much more formidable opponent than perhaps you'd expect from a monkey with its butt out, but now we're pairing it with a more intimidating opponent, the cheetah. Why do these two hate each other? Good question. While it may be somewhat hard to imagine, cheetahs and baboons actually live in the same habitat, meaning there are some opportunities for, uh, interactions. Good ones? Uh, that's the big question, isn't it? The answer is a resounding nope. Baboons and cheetahs get into fights constantly, mostly over kills. Like all bad relationships, neither the baboon nor the cheetah is ever willing to give up a kill to the other animal. It's their way or the highway, and by the highway, I mean a fight to the death out in the wild. Welcome to nature. There's no question that the baboon and the cheetah absolutely loathe one another. They just have an incredible inability to even try to avoid each other. Instead, they just kinda rush at first into a series of violent fights that leave one, or more often both, with serious injuries. How fun. Number one, snake versus mongoose. 
Now, if ever there was the ultimate animal hatred, it would have to be the snake and the mongoose. I can't even begin to tell you how perfect this hatred is. And you'll understand why I use that word in just a moment, because honestly, it really is. The snake and the mongoose truly hate one another. They are the nightmare of the other's existence. Because here's the thing. The snake has to kill the mongoose, so the mongoose won't kill the snake. Now amplify that to the entire species, and you see just why it's such a perfect hatred. They each need to kill the other in order to survive, so naturally they find the other animal truly irritating, as well as a threat to their own well-being and survival. What did I say? A perfect hatred, right? The snake slash mongoose hatred is the kind of thing that you would never have thought to write down or create somehow. It's just one of those natural animal rivalries that is a chef's kiss. Someday they'll make some hilarious animated movie about how they each want to murder the other, but until then, we'll always have this video. Were you surprised by any of the animal rivalries? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.